mechanism for the bromination of phenol. Uh, I don't need any catalyst. I just put aqueous Br2 in phenol and I will get this. In fact, the reaction is so rapid that we sometimes, often, of, we often get a tribrominated phenol. So we get uh, OH and remember OH, OH activates the 2, 4 and 6 group, six groups. So we get this uh, a 2, 4, 6 tribromophenol. That's what we get. So we get, the reaction is so rapid that we often get this molecule. And this is a white. This is seen as a white precipitate. Uh, so they will ask you for the observation. So there are two observations actually. I forgot to write one. One is that we see a white precipitate, and the other one is that the orange color of or, or that the Br2 decolorizes. It is initially red orange, and then it decolorizes. And if you remember, a similar thing happens when we react bromine with alkenes. It, the Br2 decolorizes. It becomes colorless. Okay, so we have done the bromination of phenol. The nitration of phenol. So instead of, uh, so I'll just erase the irrelevant parts. So we have a dilute solution, I want you to focus on that, that we have a dilute solution. Okay, so the nitration of phenol. Now if you remember when we were nitrating, when, when we were carrying out the nitration of benzene, we used concentrated HNO3, we also used 55 degrees Celsius temperature and we also used concentrated H2SO4 as a catalyst. In this reaction, we only use HNO3 and a very dilute solution of HNO3. So you can see how reactive phenol is in comparison to benzene. And it proves that phenol is very highly reactive. So again, we have this reaction. Nothing changes here. We have the, uh, We have this reaction, NO2, we have, and then we have NO2 over here, and then again the reaction is so rapid that we often get, that we get NO2 at all three positions, the all three activated positions, which are 2, 4, and 6. So we get, um, I'll write O2 N over here because the N is attached to the benzene ring. So we get, it at, we get, the uh, NO2 group at all three positions and this is called 246 trinitrophenol as you can see. So again you can see it's so reactive that it uh, uh, that it reacts with the phenol from all three activated uh, carbon atoms. So it's trinitrated. Uh, now let's go to the next slide. Okay, so that was the end. Uh, we have done the important reactions of phenol. We have done the properties of benzene, the reactions of benzene. We have done activating and deactivating groups. If you have any doubts, email me at alevelchemistryfree at gmail.com. The email ID is in the description. And keep practicing past papers and keep asking me your doubts so that you can get an A star. And um, we, I'll see you in the next video where we will be doing acyl chlorides uh, as I said and uh, moreover the broad topic we will be doing would be carboxylic acids and their derivatives. Thank you.